What's up, TV Nation? We're back here for another weekly challenge, and this week we're doing the birthday challenge. Okay, so for this week's challenge, the only two things you're gonna need is a stamp plate and your birthday. So, on your left, you have the numbers, and on the right, you have the letters. What we're gonna do is uh, you're gonna write your birth date. So mine is March 20th, 1999, and then I'm gonna associate the letters with the exercises and then the number with the exercises. So, as an example, here's my workout. I got March, which I got lucky, it's pretty short, so I only have five exercises. I got some squats, burpees, and so on. And then I got the day and then the year. So you guys are gonna do the same thing, just write it down on a piece of paper and then crank out the workout. Hey guys, my name is Logan and today I'm gonna be helping Clem run through some of these exercises. So for zero, you're gonna do five seated streamlined jumps. So you put your hands in a streamlined position, get something like a bench or a chair, sit down and just jump up. Keeping your spine straight the whole way and just really pushing from the legs. So you're going to do five of those. If you have a one, you're going to do ten pull-ups. Okay? Now the pull-ups, you want to have your hands with a grip slightly wider than shoulder width. Okay? And you're going to go down and really just engage that back, shin all the way up to the bar. And that's one rep. And you're going to do ten of those. So if you have a two, it's going to be five moving push-ups. So I'll show you one. So you start in the middle, you just do regular push-up. Then one, move your hand up to the side, like so. Back to middle. Then over to the left. And that's one. Five times three. So, if you have a three, we're going to be doing jump lunges. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Feet, hip distance apart, jump one foot forward, other foot back, and vice versa. For four, we're going to be doing 20 calf raises, okay? So again, feet, hip distance apart, and you just want to go on your toes, squeeze, hold for a couple seconds, back down. 20 of those. So next up is long jumps, so you're going to want to do a long jump. You're going to want to squat, swing your arms back, and jump. And then you'll do five of those in total. All right. So next up is YTWs. For this, you're going to want to get on the ground. And then for Ys, you want to stick your arm out in a Y. And then go slowly up and down. And you're going to want to do 10 of those. Then Ts is your arms out to the side. And then up and down. And then W's is this, and you're going to want to like squeeze your back and do 10 of those. So next up is jump ropes, and for this you're just going to want to do normal jump ropes. And then do 50 of those. So next up is jumping jacks, and for this you're just going to want to do your normal jumping jacks. So you want to do this, and you're going to want to do 20 of those. So next up is 10 V-ups. You're going to want to get on the ground again, take your legs out straight, arms out straight, and then come into a V. And you're going to want to do 10 of those. Hello, my name is Max. I swim for HP, and today I will be showing you workouts A through G. Alright, so for letter A, we're going to be doing burpees, and all you have to do for a burpee is start up, get down, jump into a push up position, do a push up, you get back up, and you jump up, shoot up. And that's one burpee, and you do 15 of those for letter A. For B, we have a plank, and for a plank, all you have to do is either go on your elbows, flat back, or go onto your hands and make sure they are shoulder width apart. Okay, so for workout C, what we are going to be doing is 20 high knees. And pretty much all you have to do is run in place and make sure that your knees are going higher than your hips, just like this. You don't have to keep your hands there. You can keep them there if you want. It's whatever make you feel is comfortable. Workout D, what you are going to be doing is 10 mountain climbers. And all three you have to do for mountain climbers is getting to a plank position and alternate bringing up your knees to your chest and you do that rapidly to do mountain climbers. 
For workout E, what we are going to be doing is 15 lunges, and all you have to do is bring out one of your feet, get it in line with your ankle, make sure your knee is at your ankle, and you go down and you rotate. You 15 on each side. For workout F, what we are going to be doing is 20 crunches, and all you have to do for a crunch is act like you're doing a sit up, but only go up about a quarter of the way. So you're not doing a full sit up, but the crunch is only a little bit up. Letter G, the last letter in the column, we are going to be doing 30 seconds of flutter kicks, and all you have to do is fly flat on your back, six feet up off the ground, point your toes, and kick like you're doing freestyle in the water. Put your head on the ground if you can, and do that for 30 seconds. Today I will be demonstrating the fourth column of the birthday workout. First exercise is 20 mountain climbing. That, you're gonna do 15 squats. And tricep dips. It's 20 push-ups. After that, a one minute wall sit. After that, you do 15 squats again. Twenty burpees. What's up, T Bay? It's Zach here. I'm here to show you guys row five. So let's go. Our first exercise is for letter O, and it's 15 push-ups. Here's how you do. Your arms, shoulder width apart, just down and up. Our second letter on row five is letter P. Jump squats. All you wanna do, get in your regular squat position. Squat down and go up and jump. Explosiveness. Next exercise in row five is letter O. It's a 30 second plank. Here's how you do it. The easier version is to push up harder down here. Hands width, shoulder. Stay here. Flat body. Don't put your butt up. Keep it level. 30 seconds. Our next letter is letter R. 45 second wall sit. Just want to find a good wall. Knees at a 90 degree angle, flat back. Just sit here for 45 seconds. Our next letter on row five is letter S, sumo squats. You have 15 of them. Sumo squats are different than regular squats. Try to have your legs out. Squat. Try to keep your butt low. Try to stay level. Final letter in row five is letter S. You have 15 burpees. How you do burpee? Start up standing. Arms up, come down. This is it, push up position. You can stay here or you can do a push up. Legs to the chest and up. Just like that. You have 15 of them. Versus letter U, jumping jacks. You guys know how to do them. Just full range of motion. Go turn it up. It's high knees. So you guys don't want to be leaning back, stay straight, bring your knees all the way up. Okay, so for W, we have tricep dip. So you guys want to make sure your legs are straight in front of you. And then same as before, full range of motion, all the way down, all the way back up. Right, next, we got two minute wall sit. So people already told you how to do it. Just make sure your legs are 90 degrees, back against the wall and hold it straight. 
And the last one is crunches. So you guys gotta have your knees up in the air at 90 degrees. And bring your shoulders up to your knee. Don't pull on your neck. Make sure you keep your hands on your side. And this is the last letter, letter Z. So burpees. So you guys go down in a push-up position. Jump up and streamline. Go down, all the way down. And then jump up and streamline. All right, so once you're warmed up, make sure you have your water ball in your workout, and then let's get started. Month, I got lucky, I got a short month, so it wasn't too bad. Make sure you get some water, and then let's get on with the day. So now your turn, make sure to set up your workout according to your birth date and then send it to us and as always have fun and work hard.